Wow. Hello world. My name is Dan Stone, hence the name uh, Stoned Prayers, which uh, is, was really designed to just capture people to get them to have a look at it. Listen, I'm not stoned and they're not prayers. My name is Dan Stone, Stone D. There you go. The idea is a uh, poem, a little rant, um, and then a song. Roughly 10 to 15 minutes long. I want to do it once a week. The motivation for me is basically how sick our planet is and how I've always felt this is a, a kind of vocation of all of us um, that we need to get back our sense of community and in this particular tool, the computer, it's a double-edged sword obviously um, because A, we can do that um, through this tool, I can be speaking to you, say Sven in Switzerland, yeah, they Sven, um, but yet my neighbour next door, if I were to knock and ask for a cup of sugar, might go, who the fuck are you, you know, <laughs> so it's a bit weird, but it's, it's like everything, there's, um, so uh, to start with, uh, I'll start with an old favourite poem of mine uh, I wrote back when George Bush Sr. invaded Iraq back in 1991 and it kind of encompasses the whole idea that this American power structure and monopoly on the monetary system is just pure evil and we're just pure stupid for letting it happen for so long. But anyway, um, here's, here's a poem, it's called R.I.P. Babylon. Babylon is the neck of the woods, the, the, you know, the birthplace of our civilization, and, and we, the Western world, went and bombed the hell out of it and killed them all for a bit of oil and money. <laughs> and then we gave our contracts to uh, our big construction companies to rebuild it. And that's what inspired me. Uh, so here we go. It's called R.I.P. Babylon. The double-edged sword. Prophet inspired, flesh is mortal, all beliefs aside, and no one's sure why politics collide. So why is God always on America's side? Actors and agents leading the crusade, worshipping stars, praying to space, determined each time to each new noble task. When will they sleep? When will they remove their mask? Do New York thumbs stand to our Spar Spangled Banner? Do Vietnam vets sing, or doesn't that matter? And LA blacks, and the charred Japanese, when will they live out the true meaning of their creed? Babylon, R.I.P. So that's an old favourite poem of mine, and you're going to get many of those each, each week. Like I said, one poem, one little rant, and, uh, and, a, and a song to finish it off, because, you know, Often people have very short tension spans, and I want to get you keep you involved. So I keep the music till till the end. Uh, anyway, I'm, a, I'm not a musician, I'm a butt crack really. Anyway, so the whole thing is just the vehicle for my um, for the words, lyrics, lyrical content. <coughs> so anyway, um, here's a wee rant relating to to what we were talking about. Um, today's subject: money. The second line in that. Um, uh, palm, flesh is mortal, profit, uh, sorry, profit inspired. Um, this entire planet has been tricked so badly and for so long into this hideous, hideous lie that we call money. Money is God. We don't even question it any longer. Even words like um, economize. Um, value, all these monetary related words, they've changed meaning until, you know, to economise isn't um, about uh, extending um, your resources, reducing your um, your risks uh, of death, starvation, whatever, you know, value, e every time the word value is is even mentioned uh, instantly we're thinking monetary value whereas value values things of importance i mean hello can you can you can you see i mean no world wake up we're all busy changing channel and buying shit 
and just sort of facilitating this whole lie to just keep on turning. Now, it's some very, very important uh, things that can much more eloquently than I uh, explain these things to you. If you have the time to dedicate to to waking up, if, if you're sick of being asleep, if you're sick of being fooled, if you're sick of being treated uh, treated as a potential new slave, a potential new um, cog in this horrible wheel, we're just marching towards a cliff, you know, <laughs> and and by channel surfing and buying the next popular label product, the next iPad off the range, whatever, just by those little things, incrementally we are part of the problem and when our grandchildren, our great grandchildren, our societies and generations to come look back on this period of human um, history, the fact that we were um, brainwashed and born into this system uh, it's, it's, not, it's still not going to you know fare well on the way we're looked at so um, yeah uh, I, I would thoroughly recommend that you um, check out Zeitgeist um, all three Zeitgeist movies um, Alex Jones Truth TV um, The Venus Project um, there's, I mean, once you go into those sorts of places, there'll be there'll be links that you can just keep on looking at this stuff. And the fact of the matter is, is that this planet is being led towards a complete worldwide social suicide by a very small select group of high business. Our people, you know. I mean, we all know. Uh, you, you, I mean, try and um, try investigating how World War One started, and you know the Rothschilds. They they still run. <laughs> they still run the world. You know, they're still the most the richest family on the planet, and that they still haven't. Um, they still haven't paid for for what they did for the zillions and millions of people who died, and and you know our textbooks and our schools teach us that. You know, some, some Austrian uh, ambassador being murdered was the reason for it. You know, and we all go, oh, oh, oh and move on to the next brainwashing lesson. You know? <laughs> Sad. Fuck, we're stupid. Wake up. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, it's it's important to know about these families and 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 the, the motivation. I mean, I, I can't even figure it out why, but um, there are some things which I've just thought of now that probably might not be related to that, but very just as important. Not on a um, anthropological, social anthropological sort of view that figuring out what's happening, but on a real personal level here and here, sacred geometry that would you'd do yourself a lot of favour to just investigate a little bit of sacred geometry to just to find out how interconnected our entire planet is you know, no truer words have ever been spoken than um, what is, you know, the many is the one and the one is the many everything, everyone connected, interconnected and any, any action or inaction you take um, has a flow on effect for the rest of us as a whole and as individuals, as communities, as families. It's, uh, it's pretty horrifying what we're doing and, and just with a little bit of focus on on how, how much sameness at the same time as how much differentness sorry for my um, what's the word uh, vocabulary um, there is you know so yeah enough of enough of me and uh, and my thoughts uh, about this because like I said you can get a lot further in depth with a lot more eloquent people a lot more clued up people investigating these sites so with that in mind I'm going to
try and multitask and, and, and keep talking. Oh, there's my daughter, beautiful daughter, Floss, in the back down there. Hello, Flossy Pops. She helped me. She's my IT consultant because for 25 years I've been thinking technology is a stupid passion that will go away, but obviously not. And my 16-year-old daughter is more glued onto it and this fixed me up with all of this. So, bless. Bless her. Just uh, wait there. I'll turn you around. I'll play my guitar and I'll play you a song. What's that? Oh yeah, yeah. Crossy Pops just uh, let me know that. Um, can you grab um, my harmonica out of the harmonica piece there, Cross? I'm so unprepared. This is so off the cuff that I haven't even tuned my guitar. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, it's, it's pretty close. Hopefully. Hopefully, so, so, so yeah, here we go. We'll play, we'll play your wee song. If this is, uh, if you're one of those people with a uh, um, popcorn length uh, attention span, and this is what you've been waiting for, here we go. I wrote this song at the age of 15. Can you get me the D heart? Mm, of course, I'm No. Yes. Okay, this song is about uh, getting drunk. <laughs> as a 15 year old it was a terrible bad thing to end up with but uh, I thought I'd do this chronologically things before I sign off. Um, a, I'll have the guitar tuned properly so that the harmonica doesn't sound so sharp and pitchy and uh, I might even do my hair and have a shave. Uh, I might take off my spectacles so you can stop seeing yourself, uh, the screen reflected in, in me. Uh, I'll be slightly more prepared. The whole thing's going to still be off the cuff but I think uh, yes, impromptu is better. So uh, hopefully we'll see you next time and we'll have some more thoughts, poems and songs for you. Signing off. How do I do that, Flossy Pops? Press stop. <laughs>